Steve Jang and Kanye make Bella form more fund as kindred ventures. Venture capitalists often mutter, I haven't seen anything I like lately. Founders frequently complain that investors are backseat drivers who won't get their hands dirty. A $55 million fund with a fresh approach is aiming to address both those issues. Steve Jang and Kanye McWebler are two exceedingly smart and sweet guys who couldn't help but come up with ideas for startups. Jang co-founded music apps a meme and sound tracking, meanwhile serving as an early Uber advisor and angel investor in Coinbase. Make Bella worked in operations at Korea Network Doostang and Solar Startup one block off the grid before becoming a venture partner at Collaborative Fund. Today the pair officially launch Kindred Ventures to form startups as well as fund them. We don't want to wait for people to come around and solve the problems we think matters says Jang. We'd rather proactively assemble an amazing team to go tackle that problem make Bella follows up. But Kindred Ventures will also step up and lead seed rounds, then help startups orchestrate their follow-on fundraisers. Kindred Ventures partner and co-founder Steve Jang. The ethos is empathy, to take a very adaptive coaching and mentorship model Jang tells me. That means partnering with startups rather than offering arm's-length investing. By keeping the portfolio size low, Jang and Make Bella plan to turn concentrated conviction and outsized, hands-on effort into big stakes in tomorrow's top companies. I originally wanted to call the fund Kindred Spirits, but it sounds a little too woo-woo Jang says with a laugh. From multiple interviews with the team and its portfolio, though, that's really the vibe Kindred Ventures is going for, to be the first people founders call when they're in crisis, whether they need answers or just some cheering up. Beyond the warm smiles, Kindred already has a strong track record from its prototype phase under Jang's solo operation since 2014. He'd made a reputation for himself as a fixer through his advising work during Uber's scrappy early years starting in 2009. It began with Jang writing Garrett Camp a check for his side project. As the company blossomed without full-time employees, Jang pitched in wherever he could. After a meme sale to MySpace and later Soundtracking's acquisition by Rhapsody, Jang made about 50 angel investments of around $25,000 to $250,000 in companies like Blue Bottle Coffee, Postmates, and Zymgun under the name Kindred Ventures. Instead of just throwing money around, I'd help a co-founder, sit down and work with them on product, their presentation for seed funding, hiring their first employees, finding a co-founder, it was quite different from how VCs operate. Still, he wanted to lead more investments like his favorite seed fund's first round and true venter. For more on this story, visit the news article link.